In this video, I'm going to show you how to use sodium bicarbonate ear drops to dissolve hardened or impacted earwax from the ear canal. We'll be using Medigrade sodium bicarbonate ear drops in this video, and you can find links in the description box of the video of where to purchase these. Now, before we start the video, it's important to remember that earwax is normal and will mostly fall out by itself without the need for any intervention. However, sometimes earwax can form buildups that result in symptoms such as reduced hearing, earache, or feeling that your ears are blocked. Now, some people may also be self conscious of unsightly earwax accumulation. Whereas olive oil drops gently soften earwax, sodium bicarbonate drops work quicker by actively dissolving the wax. Now, sodium bicarbonate drops should only be used for 7 to 10 days at a time. Then you'll need to take a break before considering using them again if required. Again, for more information about the drops, including how they work and potential side effects, you should always read the information leaflet inside of the pack. So let's take a look at how to use them. So to apply the drops, first lie down with your head tilted sideways with the affected ear facing upwards. Try to avoid touching the ear with the dropper and gently squeeze two to three drops into the ear. Now you might find it useful if someone else can assist you with this, but for the purpose of this video, I've just demonstrated this on myself. Now, once you've applied the drops, gently massage around the outside of the ear to encourage the sodium bicarbonate to go down the ear canal and soften the hardened wax. Remember to never insert the dropper into the ear. You should stay lying down for two to three minutes to allow the sodium bicarbonate drops to settle. You can also put some cotton wool into the conchal bowl if needed to prevent leakage. Now, once you've done this on one side, you can repeat it on the other side if needed. If you decide to use these drops, it's recommended that you use them twice daily for seven days at most. You might find it easier to do this first thing in the morning and then just before you go to sleep. Over about two weeks, as I've mentioned, lumps of earwax should fall out of your ear, especially at night when you're lying down. For some people who've got very severe blockages of hard earwax, these will need to be removed either by irrigation or professionally using micro suction. Now, who should not try this at home? Well, in general, you shouldn't try this at home if you've got sensitive ears, you're currently using any medication in your ears, you have or suspect you have a hole in your eardrum, pain in the ear, or tympanostomy tubes, any infection, bleeding, or discharge coming from the ear, or if you've recently had ear surgery. If you're not sure about any of these, speak to your health provider first before using the drops, and remember this is not intended as an individual clinical advice video. Sodium bicarbonate drops also don't work for everyone. If this is the case, then speak to your health provider. For more information about the particular products that I used in today's video, including where to purchase them, please do check out the description box of this video, where I've included lots more useful links and helpful resources about earwax blockages. Remember to always read the instruction labels on the equipment before using them, and thanks for watching.